All right, what's going on, guys? So in here, uh, global release stages 41 to 50 on um, Super Battle Road. So I have a couple of the videos up already uh, detailing the teams that I used, but today we're going to be doing the All Out or Desperate Struggle team. Uh, you see here, we're going to be rocking these guys as the leader for the team, but um, there are plenty of builds that we can do otherwise. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, a couple other builds that we can do uh, that I'll obviously detail when we get through with the team building guide if you do not have these guys. So let's go ahead, hop over to the wiki, see what we can do, and uh, I'll see you over there. Okay, now that we... Uh have kind of done our little intro. We're here over on the wiki trying to decipher a solid team build that you could use in your potential run. Now, my run specifically, you will see, is mostly LRs. <laughs> um, that is just how this team is kind of built. Uh, you see the LRs here. There isn't really any that I would just be like, no way, stay away from, because what makes this specific category interesting, now that I'm looking at it, Every old LR on it has an easy A. So, Majin Vegeta, he's been easy A. Bardock, easy A. Gohan, easy A. Goku and Frieza, easy A. Um, 2020, 2020, 2021, 2021, 2020, 2020. <laughs> like, every LR here has been updated in the past year. So, there isn't um, any reason to not run any of them. Angel Vegeta is probably the one where I'd be like, whoa, maybe not. Um, unless you want to run him with another Majid Vegeta or something like that. You could make it work, but it's not the most ideal setup to me. So, rather than giving you a spiel on each and every LR, I would say that every option here in the LR category is usable for this team. So, when we get down to the AGLT Wars, uh, there is not much. Um, I would say maybe Angel Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. You see this one, this bad boy right here. He... Uh, builds his defense as he gets hit. Um, if you know if you have him at the rainbow level and he gets hit a certain amount of times, you're going to be looking at over 200k defense. Uh, but it is a risky game that you are playing. Uh, these guys are just outdated. Uh, he's got an easy A. I could go ahead and take a look at him real quick. Uh, raise his defense. Uh, attack 50%. We're getting AGL key spheres and crits with five or more. Uh, he doesn't change orbs, so that's not going to be super dependable. But he does atta raise attack and defense on his super, uh, raises his defense, he infinitely stacks defense, uh, decent links with Saiyan Lineage, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, uh, and, but he has Shattering the Limit and most of the units that you're going to be using here are going to have Fierce Battle. So he's a last ditch option, but these three, or these four, I just would not recommend. These two are the only guys that I could sit here with a straight face and tell you that they might do well. Um, <laughs> um, Maybe Extreme Tech Majin Vegeta. He's got an AOE and a chance to stun. 50% uh, tech support TN. I'd probably stay away from because this isn't an all tech team, but it would provide nice support for these two, the Goku and Frieza and the Gohan, so they are runnable. Um, this Kaioken kind of Goku, he raises defense on his super attack and he infinitely stacks defense, but in Super Battle Road, that's nowhere near as useful as an effect as something like starting or start turn defense and all that fun stuff. Just because you're not going to be seeing anything past turn 6 or 7, uh, unless, you know, your team is just all 55%, you're getting lucky with super dodging and all that fun stuff, and you just somehow end up and you're on turn 10 or something like that, but I just don't see that happening in this specific event. Um, Ultra Full of Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, probably would stay away from, just not enough defense, but he does have good offense uh, potential and the chance to counter super attacks, so he does have his use. Uh, everything else here, stay away. Um... This Vegeta, obviously, we know. Um, he can be useful because he has a tanking ability where I believe it's the lower the HP, the more damage reduction he gets. Yeah, yeah. So he gets 58% HP, uh, or damage reduction 58% when HP is 58% or less. So, um, no trunks on the team, so you are not going to be transforming. And if you're on low health, he can be a decent tank. So I would recommend that you do run him if you have him, and he is a you know a good option for you. Uh, this Vegeta, no, this this is just a TUR of the LR. Uh, these two guys I would use, but Kyle Ken Blue Goku I do use in my run, seeing as he has the ability to uh, do his active skill, which is a very powerful attack, and he is good linking for the uh, all-out struggle leader, it being Goku and Vegeta. Physical, maybe future Gohan, but other than that, I can't sit here and tell you, like, yeah, go ahead and run these guys. So, 
this is kind of a shorter team building guide. Really, it's just a very top-heavy team, but uh, we're going to go ahead and switch back over to the Dokkan side of things, and I will try and come up with an alternate build that's going to be centered around the Kamehameha team that could be usable rather than running the all-out struggle setup. So I will be right back. Okay, so one of the units is not awakened. I'm sorry about that. I just haven't gotten around to doing that Kaioken kind of Goku. But you see here, this is a team build that you could get away with running if you are short or hard pressed for the LR, Goku, and Vegeta. Um, this team build isn't like, wow, we're gonna blow you away with uh, attack power or anything like that, but you know, it's a serviceable option that you could do, and you could run a leader for the Goku and Vegeta, so you have them in, in your back pocket as a friend support. So um, when it comes to other builds, it's, it really is tricky. Um, this is a small category, so. If you don't even have like a team that can kind of like, so here's the options in my box right now. Like this is what we got for Kamehameha and all that. But like, if we take off Kamehameha, right? And we go in here and we've got everything that you see here. There's just not a ton of options that you could do. Like, um, I'm just trying to look. Maybe something like universe seven. Like you could, I mean, that's that, but that's really bold to assume that someone would have these guys. Like, you could do something like this, right? Or run Vegeta as the lead. Like, this would work. But, you know, again, assuming that, you know, somebody has these guys uh, with dupes or anything like that is going to, you know, that's just a bold claim. Uh, but those are some potential alternate setups that you could run for this team. Again, it's a small category, so, like, if you don't have a basis of these units or you don't have some of the heavy hitters, maybe it's just, you know, you gotta look towards another stage. And come back to this one when you do think that you have the adequate units but you know if you have a box similar to this regardless of rainbow stars or not if you have a couple of the options here this uh, stage is 100 percent beatable uh, it's not super super tough but you know it definitely can be tricky so let's go ahead and get into my specific run the team that i used uh, it does not look like this just forewarning um and yeah i'll see you around dokkan for the gameplay all right now that we're done with the uh, team building guide uh, this is going to be the build that i'm going to use for this specific one uh, you may be looking at the far right and being like, what the hell are you doing? Uh, there's a method to the madness. The idea is that we are going to use Kaioken Blue Goku for his active skill. And that's about it. <laughs> Plus, he links really well with uh, the, uh, the Kaioken Blue Goku and, uh, and Evolution Blue Vegeta. Uh, let's see if we can get a rainbow one. Uh, no. Okay. Oh, no. No, no, no. Go back to where's the 90% one. I just have one. Okay, there we go. So this is the uh, build that we're going to be using. Let's hop right in. Okay, so this is a decent start. We got what we want. Well, I got to turn off auto. <laughs> this is my first recording since version Z has come out. A lot of news coming. It's been a busy week, so <laughs> really sucks that I wasn't able to get out videos. But such is life, right? All right, let's do this, and let's go ahead and take care of Krillin this turn. Just to err on the side of caution, uh, let's pop a Whis. And then we'll go ahead and grab, uh, let's grab these. I think that's the smartest way to go about it. Yeah, no, no, not really. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't too many options there to get Gohan his key, so not the end of the world, but all right. Yeah, I saw that coming. It's a good thing we popped a Whis. We should be okay. 100K or so. Yeah, 169, manageable. Now these guys, they just do a lot with their attacking, so I'm not too concerned about that, thankfully. You know, not that I think about it. Let me look at something real quick while I'm recording this. <laughs> uh, let's see. I was just making sure that I haven't recorded this one already, because I know that I used this unit as a thumbnail for one of my videos. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I had already done this team, so I just wanted to make sure, but we're good. Whew, that would have been fucking... <laughs> I get through this whole thing, record everything, I'm like, oh, I've already uploaded this, but no, nah, we're good. So, at least there's that. Alright, and this is the same situation as last turn, where now we can just go ahead and start teeing off on uh, Roshi. It might have been smart to throw Roshi in slot 1 to get the, uh, the stun, but I don't think it's really the end of the world. Right, 
Boom. Oh yeah, those crits are knocking his ass up. <laughs> yeah, we're good here. And an additional. Nice. And his attack's been lowered. Oh yeah, this is a good start. But you never count the chickens before they hatch. It's one thing I've learned. I forget if Roshi's stun is one turn or two turns. Right, so I'm here. Sorry for the clicking. Um, yes, yeah, so he's stunned, but I still want to float you off. I'm not concerned with him right now. Yeah, this is fine. Right, perfect. <clears throat> perfect. Okay, so let's see. Uh, categories. I just want to make sure I have the typing or the, the name of it right. I'm pretty sure it's all out struggle. Yeah, yeah, all out struggle. Originally, it was called Desperate Struggle, so I kind of got used to calling it that. So here is kind of an interesting um, way of doing it, right? What we could do in theory... Nah, there's no way. we got to just throw them in slot one. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab these. And then we'll go after you with these. And again, just to play it safe, let's do an Icarus so we can save the Whis. And we have... Oh, I meant to attack the idea of the enemy. Shit. All right. I don't think that's really a too big of a death blow there. Right. So let's see. Okay, so let me pull up this category, because what I usually do is record the video and then do the uh, team building guide just to make sure that I have it done. But this one, from what I can tell, is, is going to be pretty straightforward. What makes these tough is that like you'll see a lot of people in their specific videos or like their things they'll use like the 50% support units and like there's such a small percentage of people that have the 50% support units so like things get tricky with them. Okay, I gotta be careful right here. Not because I'm in like I'm worried about dying or anything, but I'm pretty sure we have Roshi's revival. Maybe not though. So let's um. Go ahead and do this. Let's... I have an item active. I think we're good. I really do. And Roshi's gonna stun. Yeah, we're good. Or he's at least gonna seal. So yeah, we're not gonna die on this turn. Let's just play it out like this. This is so I can get the Kaioken Blue Goku active skill. And his attack's been lowered now. Nice. The only death I see, or I foresee us dying right here is, I was going to say 18 to the su uh, super attack, but otherwise I think we're good, because we're about to seal 17. Yep. And that did not finish him off. Very close, though. Alright, so... Let's um do it like this, right? So let me go ahead and put the music on, <laughs> and we will uh, go ahead and do Kaioken Blue Goku's active skill, because we never get to see these in videos. So after some technical difficulties, I think I have everything done, but um, I do foresee us finishing up this uh, specific stage here within this turn, so that's why I'm going to go ahead and forego the defense, because I do think, you know, this 8 million plus whatever additionals we do will take care of business. Um, hopefully the Elgato audio isn't laggy, 
Oh, he didn't get his additional. But hopefully the Elgato audio isn't like a couple seconds behind because I've just been having so many issues with OBS. Like, I'll do the active skill and then the audio is coming through my microphone and the Elgato, like the mic and awkward, uh, like the microphone audio is the game audio at the same time. So the Elgato isn't recording anything. But this time I usually like I stop talking and let the audio play out and uh, it's not doing anything. So um, technical difficulties. I think we're good now. So let's go ahead and skip this. There's an in enemy here, so let's just get him out of the way. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna pop items here, so it doesn't even matter. So let's uh, go ahead heal up. And last but not least, we will use a Whis, and I believe we will have them taken care of. Let's do this, and we'll finish it off with that. All right, perfect. This should be a pretty good turn right here. Yeah, that's fine. The other one hit much harder. I think he just had a better linking partner with him. Yeah, so let's... Um... Alright, perfect. Ooh, this is gonna stink. <laughs> ah, nowhere near as bad as I thought. It was a tight disadvantage. I must have... I misread it. Hmm. I figured we would finish off Piccolo right there. That's unfortunate. So this should be a pretty decent bit of damage right here. Not as much as I want though. Like that's not where I was expecting to be at this point. And we have type advantage here, we, we're good. Yeah, that's fine. You can have that, sir. All right, so let's um, get more damage reduction going because <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Right oh, I misclicked. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't feel like resetting. <laughs> Let's try and get the stun on Gohan. Yeah, that stings. I definitely, uh... That was an unfortunate misclick. <laughs> it's all good, though. I have to look at this. I don't feel like my voice is being picked up as well as it should be. Maybe it's just uh, different. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. All right, this is good. Definitely. So, coming up on this next turn, we should do a pretty decent number. Yeah, now that you're stunned especially. So let's go ahead and do that. I did it again. All right. Piccolo. And we'll go after you. Okay. That's embarrassing. I misclicked twice. Well, I didn't misclick there. I just forgot to go back to the other enemy, but it's all good. We'll take care of Piccolo with uh, the other two, and then we'll just go ahead and finish up on the next turn. Hopefully he does a little damage so we can have um, the AoE go in. With, or not the AoE, but the Kyle Kibble go uh, go go active skill. So we need a critter too. That's really the only way I see us getting Yeah, so he's dead now. Perfect. Yep. Alright, so we got the end result we wanted anyway. Yeah, I don't even think a crit's gonna be enough here. No, it's not. Okay. Uh, you link better because you have legendary power, right? Yeah. It's not gonna be much, but you have something. So now we got Kamehameha. I think Fierce Battle, something with Saiyans, Legendary Power. <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head, but enough links. So that's that's the, the point here. All right, so yeah, go, uh, the Dokkan attack is going to go ahead and finish this up for us. I can't imagine he does enough damage to finish us off right here. No. All right, so that's going to be the end of the all-out struggle run for Super Battle Road. I believe this is stage 49. Um, again, real easy. Like, nothing too hard here to struggle. Um, no pun intended. But, uh... Didn't have to use all our items. Uh, was aired on the side of caution with items for the most part, just because there are some suspect units here defensively. So now I have to go ahead and, uh, you don't know this because I'm recording this ahead of time, but I gotta go back, re-record the uh, team building guide, do a alternate setup in case you don't have Goku and Vegeta, and we will go ahead and go from there. Um, 
you know, trying to be a little, I've been really inconsistent with uploading lately, but it's busy times, you know, school's in full swing here, we're getting closer to the end of the semester, so I just do not have the adequate amount of time that I would want to get uh, school, like, to get YouTube out, you know, I just gotta, gotta focus on other stuff, but, uh, we will, you know, the, uh, with breaks coming up, you will see the increase of uploads coming, uh, I got a lot of Super Battle Red videos that are gonna be coming out over the next coming days, uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on, hopefully, daily Dokkan content like this. I'm out.